Thai Airways laid out plans to attract investors for business revival. Dr. Piyaswat Amranan, chairman of the Rehabilitation Plan Administrator of Thai Airways International Public Company Limited, revealed that the company is preparing to draft a filing to the Securities and Exchange Commission to increase capital by the end of September as part of the rehabilitation plan. The process includes two key components. First, converting debt to equity for creditors, such as the Ministry of Finance, financial institutions, and debenture holders. And second, issuing a total of 9,822 million shares through the rice offering, but at a higher offering rate. Investors participating in the offer through debt-to-equity conversion in the first category will be subject to a one-year lock-up period. During the first six months, only up to 25% of the total shares can be sold. This implementation has been set with the aim of preventing excessive selling pressure on the stock when trading resumes and to safeguard the interests of investors considering the right offer. Meanwhile, the management also addresses challenges related to the company's retained deficit, which stood over 73 billion Thai baht, leading to the company's inability to distribute dividend payments, which is why the debt-to-equity conversion is essential to the rehabilitation plan. Dr. Piyaswat expects the process to complete in early 2025, which will enable the company to distribute dividend payments and later resume trading in the Thai stock exchange.